So hello from Italy, today I have the Enduro here and uh, it's a pleasure to test the Beta Alp 200. Hello from Italy, uh, I am doing a short test of this Beta Alp uh, 200. There will be half review and half you know, sharing my experience here in Tus Tuscany in Italy because I met here the Beta Bikers, the forum for in the uh, Beta Bikes DE, .de basically from Germany and they are here and all riding these amazing Beta Alps 200 and so uh, so, you know, it'll be a little bit of review, a little bit of sharing my experience and beautiful nature of Italy. So this bike is 200. It doesn't have much competitors on the market because it's very, very lightweight, 180 kilos dry weight. It's very special. I could compare it with Yamaha Tricker, but uh, it's not on the market anymore. And even this bike had it difficult and the, there was the Euro 4 problems and it had a break on the market and it's getting back this year. Uh, only they, they replaced the, the foot packs to, to be able to homologate the, the motorcycle, but no much other, other changes. So it, it, it still stays with the Suzuki DR200 engine, air-cooled. The engine which will stay forever, I guess. It's very reliable with 15 horsepower. It's not much. But uh, it actually does a very good job, I would say. Like, I was very surprised. Um, it pulls out very strongly. Um, there, there is a change gear, gearing ratio in this test, and I didn't know when I was riding, so I'm saying now there is a change ratio. It's a different sprocket, one tooth and uh, one teeth, which means that it's way stronger and way slower in top speed. Yeah, it pulls out very quickly, and it has a lot of, lot of torque from the bottom. I was very surprised. For, for the 200cc small engine, you know, I was very surprised. Kickstarter, very nice, and carburetor, you know, this is, this is beautiful. Uh, other than that, other than that, this is very like uh, you know there is not much to say about the bike. It's very easy, very small you know display. It's just the speed and nothing else. And and uh, we have enduro tires and and wheels, 21 inch front wheel, 30 uh, and and 18 in the rear metas tires. And the suspension on the paper probably doesn't look that attra attractive, like 38 millimeters uh, front fork. It rather rather look touristic, right? Rather than sporty. 170 millimeters front travel and 180 in the rear, but I have to say it, it works very well. But for touristic purposes, you know, like just going off road wherever you want, enjoying the day, it's just beautiful. And uh, even if with my weight, 113 kilos, the suspension didn't have any problem. So I kind of enjoy this bike. So now you can enjoy it with me. So I'm going, I'm taking you for a ride. So hello from Tuscany in Italy. And this is a special video, it's a half review and half just a special kind of, you know, experience. I would like to show you what I am now experiencing here. So I am here in Beta Motorcycles and riding this Beta Alp 200, which is a small, fun enduro. Uh, I'll tell you more in a second. And I'm uh, here having a guide, the guy in front of me, who is called Joyce, he's from Germany. And uh, he used to, uh, he used to, you know, doing a lot of off-road racing and road racing and all, all sorts of I think even trials so lots of you know a lot of different a uh, lot of different races and so he's a very experienced guy and he is going to show me a few nice tracks here and um, oh my good yeah so he asked me how good I am and I said yeah no problem uh, <laughs> so this is not my cup of tea as you probably if you've seen uh, any of my videos I focus mainly on the normal normal bikes and scramblers and uh, you know road bikes basically and I did uh, just a few experiences with with uh, enduros oh my god uh, because I own the Honda CRF 250 rally on Canary Islands but I have to say this Beta Alp 200 it's a very very different cup of tea as you can probably see right now it's crazy where <laughs> with minimum skill how much it can offer you this is really good uh, and this is probably why this bike is so largely oh, oh so largely kind of uh, <laughs> so <laughs> this is probably the reason why there's so many so many fans uh, and uh, because it's so easy to work with it you know to ride it in any kind of terrain the 108 kilos dry weight is really a oh wow 
<laughs> it's really a different cup of tea than the, for example, my Honda or any other contemporary, you know, this kind of soft uh, travel enduro or anything like that. If I really would find this, this road in Romania on my expedition or something on my BMW Dakar, I would never probably, you know, enter this, this sort of terrain. And, um, oh, I have to focus now a little bit more. So the bike is very easy to ride, 180 kilos uh, dry weight. This is really something. Uh, and together with the engine, which is superb, uh, it's, uh, it's the engine 200cc air-cooled with the, from the Suzuki DR200. So it's not super, uh, uh, super kind of, you know, strong, of course. Uh, I think it should be about, it should have about 15 kilos. However, it's not officially, it's not officially written. So it, it should have, I think, about 15 uh, horsepower, about 11 kilowatts. Oh my. But uh, it all means that, oh, just a moment. <laughs> As you can see, it can just literally bring you anywhere you you would uh, show by your finger and uh, where you look at. Uh, this is really cool. So the combination of the really small dry weight and together with the engine, which is really nice to you, uh, even for the total beginners, it means that this is incredible bike. And I had a lot of conversation here with people from Germany. Here, here is a German group from the uh, Beta Bikers uh, Forum. And these are just, they are pure fun of these bikes. There are lots of people who are like, uh, like uh, the oldest guy here is 78 and having this bike and riding the very same track as I do now. <laughs> Basically, he's doing much more than I do. There are even ladies, there are people, there are couples, you know, in all sorts of, you know, ages. And, and they are just having to do these two Alps and enjoying so much. And then they said, you know what, after, after we experience this terrain of Tuscany, we will change the sprocket to a little bit more, you know, road usage. And we will spend a week around the Lake Garda, which I just think this is a dream, you know, this is what I always wanted in my life, you know, to do these things with my wife. So maybe in the future. So the proposition of this bike is not that it, it's something super modern, not at all. Uh, and it's also not that cheap, to be honest, like this, the Beta in general, is not that cheap brand or anything. This is kind of a quite an expensive motorcycle. It's comparable with the Honda CRF 250L. But if you take it and compare it with the Honda, Honda is way, way, way uh, faster on the road. Like I did like 100, I don't know, I think 150 or 145 kilometers per hour on the Honda and just this is not <laughs> this is not something you will do on the beta on the road the beta do like something like 65 kilometers per hour on the third gear and about 85 on the fourth gear and just not not the strongest place to enjoy the bike but uh, <laughs> I hope you will enjoy at least <laughs> the sceneries I am now experiencing uh, but in comparison to Honda, you still have like 50, almost 50 or 40 at least kilos less white motorcycle. And I think this should be called Scrambler because and not, you know, like Triumph Scrambler or anything like that from, from the word scrambling. And this will really bring you to any hill you think about. So guys, this is Italy, my favorite country nowadays and uh, light white Beta Alp 200. I always consider this bike without no any research, just, just the perception was that it's a cheaper version of, of the 350 Alp 4.0, which has also the engine from Suzuki DR, but 350. And, uh, and I was just thinking, this is a cheaper version, you know, but this is way more capable uh, motorcycle, way uh, uh, lighter. And uh, it's just so fun for these kind of people who, uh, who are not looking for the, you know, hard enduro ktm or anything but you don't you want to go off-roading be be <laughs> sorry be silent a little bit you know it doesn't need to be very loud with the exhaust enjoy the landscapes enjoy the nice day this really this is really good uh there is there are just very basic technical very technical things you know basic brakes which uh, have no ibs but they does a good job uh in, in this kind of speeds and off-road, no problem. Uh, the clutch and, and brake lever, they are un un unadjustable, but uh, it's not, again, like, 
it's not such a big issue for me. Even the clock or, or basically, you know, the, the speedo, it just it doesn't have any RPM or anything. But, uh, but it's just, you know, there is nothing which nothing extra on this bike but that that all means that it's then can be light white <laughs> sorry the conditions now for the review are difficult it's starting to rain quite heavily but uh, one thing i wanted to touch is the is the ergonomy so for my uh, 100 uh, 113 kilos or 15 maybe nowadays it's not a problem at all the bike and the suspension works with it quite well and i, I can't say the same like absolutely the same about the Honda CRF 250L. This is this is just this just works fine for my surprise. And uh, now it's getting a little bit muddy, <laughs> which is even more fun. And um, of course the bike it's maybe a little bit smaller than it could be. Uh, the 830 millimeter seat height. It's not just uh, you know probably the, the the best works for ladies or for anybody a little bit smaller than me, like 180 millimeters or less. But at the same time, but it's not that bad. I could I could normally buy it and I could normally work it. Only I would probably put the high uh, the handlebar higher. So this was not a proper or in-depth or, or regular test of the bike. It was a combination of the review and showing some nice, you know, special terrain, sharing what I am doing now in in uh, in Italy. So hope you liked it and. Um, let me know what are your thoughts about the Beta motorcycles. If, if this was your first, you know, first experience of seeing the Beta, or 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 whether you whether you have any other, you know, experience with the brand. And I will try to do in the future the proper test of the like in-depth test for a week or something of their Beta Alp 4 4.0, which is the legend bike, very nice enduro with DR 350 engine. Oh wow, <laughs> this is so cool. So thank you very much for watching and um, see you soon.